Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Friday, February 10th, 2012. Our top story is from the world of physics. Scientists at SLAC's LINAC Coherent Light Source managed to produce a laser pulse with unparalleled brilliance in the X-ray range. The pulses are very small in the femtoscale, which allows the observation of very small changes in, for example, a molecular reaction. This opens a whole new range of potential applications, particularly in our understanding of certain details of chemical processes, even in a biological context. LCLS, where this important advancement was made, is a linear accelerator which was started in April 2009 and is the most powerful of its kind today. The LCLS sends a pulse of X-rays to a sample of neon atom. The rays manage to rip some electrons out of the inner shells of the atoms. The electrons occupying the higher states fall into the lower states by emitting X-rays themselves. Research still continues to make the pulse even smaller and apply it to other elements such as oxygen, nitrogen, or sulfur. Now for a quick update from the world of material science. Researchers in China and Japan have developed a new composite aerogel with some interesting properties. We've mentioned aerogels on Brainstorm before, but essentially they're gel-like structures that contain air instead of liquid. These materials are generally over 99% air with the solid structure commonly made of silica. They're also semi-transparent, non-flammable, and have incredible heat insulation properties. However, such airy silica structures are, as you might imagine, rather fragile, limiting their applications. This is where cellulose comes in. The researchers created a normal liquid gel containing dissolved cellulose, after which they used this as the scaffold for normal silica aerogel resulting in a composite material that has the advantages of an aerogel but with increased flexibility and even biocompatibility, greatly expanding its potential uses. We end with a story from the world of chemistry. Penn State and other institutions have research groups investigating a simple water filter based on plant seeds. You see, seeds from this particular plant have known antibacterial properties and can hopefully be turned into a simple and sustainable water filter. The team from Penn crushed up the seeds, mixing it with water and regular sand, and then removed the seed chunks, leaving only sand embedded with antibacterial proteins. Testing has already demonstrated that this treated kind of sand can kill E. coli, which causes much illness involved with untreated water sources. As an added bonus, this sand causes clay to clump in solution, which could help clean muddy water also. However promising, this method is in the lab. It's a whole other situation making it practical in a water-stressed village. Before anything can be implemented, it needs to be determined how much sand can clean what volume of water. But if all goes well, it should result in a cheap and effective water filter that villages can make from local resources. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.